Hello everyone, my name is Ishan Jolly and welcome to r slash Entitled Parents. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. What kind of sick porn is that? Entitled Aunt tried to steal my computer and hits my mother. This is a pretty long one, but I believe it's worth it. Me? The smexy beast writing this post. EA, Entitled Aunt? And EK, Entitled Kid. Mum, I'll leave you to figure that out on your own. Entitled aunt and my mum used to get along good. Well, as good as two sisters usually get along. But when Entitled aunt had a kid, almost all contact was dropped between them, and now she only calls my mum to ask for a small loan of insert large amount of money here, or other favours like driving her down to look after her entitled kid for a day. She lives over four hours away, but you can't stay the night as I don't have room, and gets offended when my mother declines. Anyway, so we're sort of an olive branch, my mum got quite ill a few months prior and had one of those moments when she didn't want any regrets when she died. My mum invited entitled aunt and a kid around for a few nights so they can catch up and whatnot. So I'm waiting at the door. The car pulls up out in front of us and I open the door when she rings the bell. Me. Opens the door. Hey auntie mer. Entitled aunt. Hold this. Shoves back in my face, which I take. I kind of write this off since it was a four hour journey with a most likely screaming child. My mum and entitled aunt proceed to exchange pleasantries, but I notice my mum is basically doing all the niceties. How is your journey, etc. Not really important to the story, but I just like to show that she's not a nice lady. Anyway, a few minutes go by. I make some tea and hot chocolate for entitled kid. He didn't ask for it, I'm just being nice. Entitled kid. It's cold. It's steaming at the top, so I know he's lying. Me. Laughs awkwardly and sits down. Entitled kid blinks at me. It's still cold. At this point, I realize he's not joking. Me. Entitled kid, I can see the steam. It's not cold. Entitled aunt. Oh, he just watched Ratatouille. For all of you who don't know, Ratatouille is an animated film about a chef rat. And is trying to be like, name of some character from the film. Be a deer and remake one for him. Side note. From what I remember, his character never says, the food's cold. But I could be wrong. I kind of sit still for a bit, not sure if she's serious. Entitled aunt. Now, please. Laughs at Entitled Kid who gleefully holds up his cup. Now, it should be noted that, at this point, my mum let it happen, since she was desperate to get on with her sister. But that'll change later. Don't you worry. Me. Knowing my mum wants to work this out, sure, whatever. I go into the kitchen and settle down the mug out of view. Rattle around some spoons and jugs and bring it... Bring the same hot chocolate back. The kid is fine with it, but entitled aunt. Oh, no. You didn't remake that. I just saw you put that on the side and bring it back out. Entitled kid. Stops drinking. Mummy, I want a hot one. Entitled aunt. Don't worry, honey. You'll get a hot one. At this point, I'm just annoyed. The kid was fine with it. Entitled aunt was just being a dick. Me. Well, the microwave is in there. Motions towards the kitchen. Knock yourself out. So I don't cause a scene. I leave the room and go upstairs to my room. Recently I've started playing a new game on my PC called Bioshock 2. For those of you who don't know, it's a horror game that takes place underwater. Now, a key point to both this story and the game is that in the game there are these girls who run around called Little Sisters. And their job is to collect resources from dead bodies around the various game levels. Each one is protected by a huge man in a diving suit known as Big Daddies which is usually referred to by the Little Sisters as Daddy, or Mr. Bubbles, for whatever reason, I don't know. And in the second game, you play as one of these big daddies, and you have to defend the little girl while they harvest the resources. If you played the game or are super intelligent, you probably know where I'm going with this. Anyway, so I boot up the game and begin playing. A few minutes pass, and I assume that Entitled Kid gets bored, because I hear him scampering upstairs and, without knocking, enters my room. Me. Knowing the game is quite gruesome, and I shouldn't play it in front of him, pauses the game. Hey, could you please knock next time? Entitled Kid. I don't have to knock at home. You're not at home. Entitled Kid, ignoring this. What are you playing? Me. An adult game. Entitled Kid. But you're not an adult. Me. Aha, you got me. I don't like him much, but I get he's a kid, and although he's annoying as hell, I do recognise that I've got to bear with him a little bit, since he's only about five to six and doesn't really know much better than to be annoying and squeaking. 
Entitled Kid. Could you play some, please? Me. Not with you here, mate. As I said, it's an adult game. He storms out, slamming my door behind him. I was a bit confused, since I, although annoyed, understood why I wasn't allowed to play certain games when I was his age. A few moments pass, and this is where it gets tad unbelievable. So fair enough, you want to call bullshit. <laughs> In the game, I set the little sister down, and she begins harvesting the body, and several enemies attack, attempting to get to the little sister. Just as I hear footsteps coming up the stairs, I have a little eye roll and know exactly what's about to happen. It's entitled Aunt. She stands outside my door for a few seconds. I assume thinking of something to say, but I give it no thought. Just as she's about to walk in, without knocking I might add, the little sister in the game gets attacked and lets out a high pitch, Daddy! Atta asking me, her guardian, for help. Now at the time I didn't really think much of it, as I fully know what well I'm doing, whereas all entitled Aunt knows, at this point, that I'm a 16 year old boy, and she knows full well what most 16 year old boys are motivated by. Entitled Aunt, banging hand on door, What the fuck is wrong with you? Me? Huh? Entitled aunt barges into room, which, if she thought I really was doing the thing she was thinking I was doing, is pretty creepy. What the fuck did you show my little angel? Me. Pauses the game. Oh, we asked to see the game, and I said no, since it's an 18. Entitled aunt. Don't lie to me, you little shit. He just came downstairs crying because you played an adult thing in front of him. Me. What? Entitled aunt. This is a game. Entitled aunt. I just heard a woman moaning in here. Don't lie to me. Me. What you heard was a character in the game. If you sit down, I will show you. At this point, Entitled Kid is at the door and wanders in. Entitled Kid points to pause screen. That's it! Me. I'll play some of it for you just to prove it's not porn if you just sit down at the bed. I like to point this out, that I wasn't being aggressive at all during this. She was just screaming at me, and I was talking normally. Both of them take a seat on my bed. Me. You, want, you might want to tell Entitled Kid to leave. It's a grown-up game. Entitled Aunt. Still angry, but a little quieter. If it's good enough for you, then it's good enough for him. Me. Realizing that this didn't actually make much sense, plays the game anyway. Big mistake. Now I understand that I wasn't really smart in this situation and didn't really think this through. I then proceeded to show her and little brat about two minutes of me blowing enemies' heads off with a shotgun and a huge drill. Did I mention before this was gruesome? I paused, turned around, and realized my mistake. Entitled Aunt looked mortified. However, Entitled Kid looked fine. Entitled Aunt, what kind of sick porn is that? I was surprised. Surely couldn't, she couldn't be that stupid. I was expecting her to flip out because I showed it in front of her kid. But no. She still thought it was some kind of kink I had. Because why wouldn't you? Me. Entitled Aunt, it's clearly not porn. Entitled Aunt, I'm telling your mother right now, and we're taking your Xbox right now as compensation. I decided now not to point out that it was a PC, not an Xbox. Entitled Aunt points at my monitor and holds her hand out like she expects me to carry it like that and I just give it over. Me. What the fuck? No way. Entitled Kid. I want it, mummy. Entitled Aunt. You can have it, sweetie. To me. Give it now. Me. No, get the fuck out of it, crazy lady. Entitled Art trying to grab the monitor, and I smack her arm away. Entitled Art, Did you just hit my child, you fat slob? Me. Fuck off now. Entitled Art storms downstairs, dragging Entitled Kid by the wrist, and I hear her yelling at my mum downstairs, calling her a bitch and whatnot for letting me have a computer for that filth. I hear a thud and rush downstairs, worried. Luckily, it was only her Entitled Kid having a tantrum on the floor. I'm watching it from the staircase, and Entitled Aunt hasn't noticed me yet. Entitled Aunt, what kind of shitty parenting are you doing? I demand to having his Xbox, and we're sleeping in his room tonight. Mum, look, can everyone please calm down? My aunt slaps my mum. This is where I lose my shit. Now I'm 6'1", and I'm taller than my aunt by about a foot. I'm also not particularly muscly, but I'm quite big, and, wearing, and when wearing the correct clothes can look like, an, like I am. Me, emerging from the staircase. Out. Now. Entitled Aunt. Ignoring what I said. And you! Listen here, buddy! Me. Out. Now. Entitled Aunt. What? 
Me. Get the fuck out of my house now, and if you come back, I'll call the police. At this point, I'm about two feet away from her, and she realizes how tall and supposedly muscly I am. It's also worth noting that I never have touched her or her son in a violent way. But she didn't know her, that. Entitled aunt, you can't do that. Me. I can. You and your little shit stain. You call a son. Get out of my house right now, or I'll make you. Entitled aunt, we're family. I was shocked at this. Like, how can she even consider making that excuse when my mum was currently crying with a big red mark on her cheek? Get out now. Entitled aunt, realized that she's beaten, begins grabbing her things and tells Entitled kid to get his shoes on so she can tie them. Me. Nope. Out. Point to door. Entitled aunt. Yes, yes, I'm getting his shoes on, you dick. Me. Put them on in the car now. Fuck off. Entitled aunt moves towards the door and I open it for her. She's grabbing Entitled Kid's wrist and he's practically dragging him along while he wails that he wants my game. I throw a bag she forgot onto the ground and slam the door behind me. I immediately check on my mum who's sobbing, quietly clutching her face. She was fine and I think it was mostly shock, but she was understandably devastated. She spoke to me later that night and gave me a huge hug thanking me. Needless to say, we didn't hear from Entitled Aunt for several months until she apologised a few weeks ago and proceeded to ask for money. My mum blocked her. Thanks for reading this whole thing. If you did, I'd love to say the story is fake, but unfortunately, it's not. And I really am related to that asshole. Since everyone was asking, I'll just put it here. My mum is fine now. She was diagnosed with cancer and went through chemo, so she wasn't herself for a while. Normally she'll have hit her back, but she was mostly upset. Not because the visit was a failure but more of what the visit represented. She is fine now. So, thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.